Good evening and welcome to another future further episode of Dangerous Things You Can Least Expect. And we are very excited today because for the first time in the whole biology of DTY CLE, we are going to be doing a sequin. That are right, this episode are a part two or a to be continue from the previous part. And I was thinking that there are so many clichés in the world. Sorry, French people. Cliché is in the world that we have to give it another episode. And we need to find the hidden dangers that are lurking behind the ulterior motives that they have. And because there are so many that I want to do in today's episode, we are going to have to rush in where angels fear to have tread on their bicycle tires. And so the first one I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at two together because they are linked. And it goes, you can have your cake and eat it, which I understand. I, I know what it means. It's like saying that if you have cake, then you can eat the cake that you have. So that are obvious. I don't know why we have to make it into a cliche. But if you look, it has hysterical roots. Because I think it were Lady MacGyver that once said, let them eat cake. Wait, no, Lady MacGyver was the one that rode naked on the horse. It wasn't her, it was, it was Mary and her hairnet. She are the one that went to the window one day and she opened it and all the poor people were standing outside and she looked at them and say, let them eat cake, which was highly insensitive because they did not have a lot of money. And so maybe it were a lot better if she say, let them eat vegetables or maybe let them eat vegetables and maybe a few pieces of fruit as well. And we know what happened to her. Now, the next one I want to look at say, that too many cooks spoil the broth. Now, I do not want to be a bearer of a bad news here, but if broth is the only thing that you are looking forward to for supper, then I think you are in trouble already, and it don't matter how many cooks you have, it are already spoiled. The next one are very interesting. It go, don't bite the hand that feeds you. And I think that if you look at the cannonballs, and you remember them, those are the people that eat themselves, they have a very similar saying. It goes, bite the hand that is fed to you. So it's very similar, but very different. And I think what it means is it can be dangerous if you bite the hand that feeds you, because that person may not be ambidextrous, and if later you want seconds, he will not be able to pass it to you, because you have hurt his only good hand. So be careful. This next one, however, I think are probably the most dangerous glitchy of all. And it is the one that is saying it is raining cats and dogs. Now, I know these are dangerous because it have happened to me last week. It were raining cats and dogs and I knew this because I looked down and I saw that I've stepped in a poodle. And so that can be very dangerous. And then this next one is also very interesting. It's a when life gives you lemons make lemonade because that seems obvious when life gives you lemons you can't make shepherd pie unless it gives you lemons and a bag of other ingredients and if that were the case you would probably make the shepherd's pie but leave out the lemons anyway and so if life give you lemons make lemonade yeah sure it is the only thing you can make with lemons that's silly but this gets a bit more complex if we go a bit further because what happen if life give you melons the first thing, if life gives you melons, the first thing you must do is you must check to see if you are dyslexic. And if you are dyslexic, then it's okay. You can go ahead and make lemonade. But if you are not dyslexic and life gives you melons, you have to ask yourself the question, can I make melonade? And I cannot help you with that one. You are on your own. Um, and then the next one, the last one that I want to look at today is also very dangerous. And it is the cliché that speak about rubbing salt into a wound. This are very dangerous. Trust me on that. I cannot go into the specifics, but it is very dangerous. Especially if you are just doing it for fun. You are rubbing salt into a wound. And if that wound are not your wound, it are belonging to Mike Tyson. And instead of salt, you are actually using lemon juice. That, that would be very dangerous indeed. And so maybe that saying, to help us all out, maybe that saying should be, when life give you lemons, 
make lemonade, but don't use the leftover lemon juice to rub into any wounds that Mike Tyson might have. I think maybe if we said that a lot more to each other, we would be a lot safer in life. Now, we have just covered a few today, and there's still so many glitches that maybe one day we will have to make a treacle and look at some more. But for now, as I always say, don't worry, be happy. Doc, sleepy, dopey, bashful, or sneezy. But don't be grumpy. Bye.